Now, feeding hog and snakes, I find, is a lot of fun. They have such a diverse diet. Naturally, on the plains, they might eat a few rodents and have a bit more of a rodent diet. And then in the summertime, they'll move into the wetland areas and eat a lot of frogs and take advantage of that huge availability of the new toadlets and froglets that are now in existence. But also, if you look at studies, hognose snakes eat a lot of turtle eggs. Not really something that we have in ready access and captivity, but it just shows you how diverse their diet really is. You could feed hognose snakes mice, rat pups, if you want something really, really fat and calorific, quails, quail eggs, frogs legs, reptile inks, and if you're in the States, you can also feed them lizards, you can feed them turtle eggs if you can get them, but you can feed them other reptile eggs if you have infertile eggs, or they're like coals that you don't want to breed. Even in one study, they were actually looking at the brains of hognose snakes in an enrichment study, and they found they could raise hognose snakes from a baby up to a year old just on chunks of salmon with multivitamin. So information like that really opens a door to what you can do to really have fun and diversify the diets for our hognose snakes. It doesn't have to be mouse, 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 mouse. And actually it's going to be healthier if we give them that diverse diet, the things that aren't as fatty, because hognose snakes can get really fat in captivity and they can get fatty liver disease and all the fat storage builds up under their skin. And ultimately you're going to shorten the lifespan of your hognose snake. So by you having more fun and diversifying and feeding them different things, it's actually better for your hognose too. If your area is very limited in terms of alternative feeders and you really just have access to mice, what we're going to do is look at feeding that hognose snake every 10 to 14 days. You would go a mouse one week and maybe something the next week and you go mouse off, mouse alternative, mouse alternative. Your hognose snake isn't going to burst into flames if it doesn't have a whole preotum every week. Again, that study showed that. They gave them chunks of salmon from baby all the way up to like a year old from just a chunk of salmon and a bit of, bit of multivitamin alone. So having full preotum alternative, full preotum alternative, you're going to be fine. And the alternative can be a whole preotum. Even our frog's legs have still got that muscle tissue, bone in them. So you're going to be absolutely fine. Baby hogger snakes can eat sort of like every five days. They can eat pinkies, and if you find something alternative that's big enough, like chunks of fish, like chunks of frog meat, then of course they'll appreciate that as well. Just make sure that your hognose snake isn't going to get fat. If you think its body condition is getting a bit fatty, maybe scale down the food sizes. What I like to do is going into the summer, I lean more on the frog's legs and that amphibian diet, and maybe if they're eggs, if I can get them, just like their wild counterparts would get in the summertime also. 